colleges and universities are facing a number of different challenges these days. Uh, first of all, student enrollment is down at most colleges uh, for a couple of reasons. Fewer American high school college graduates are applying to most schools, and international student enrollment is down as well because of economic reasons and also because of regulatory changes in visa requirements and such. Competition is increasing. Schools are offering more and more attractive financial packages to their most attractive applicants, and that leaves the tuition-dependent school in a tough situation. Different kind of competition is what I refer to as the arms race in amenities, and it's expensive to build those sorts of amenities. It's expensive to maintain those sorts of amenities. The end result of all that is just a confluence of a number of different factors creating enormous financial pressure for lots and lots of colleges and universities these days. In other industries, businesses can restructure their debts by filing for bankruptcy. In higher ed, that doesn't work. So what's left? What's left is an affiliation transaction of one sort or another, and that can take a number of different forms. There are a number of things that uh, I've learned uh, that I try to share with my clients. The first is, Get an early start on the process. If you wait too long to embark on finding an affiliation partner and figuring out what that affiliation is going to look like, you really reduce your margin for error. The second is assemble a good team who can be ambassadors to these various constituencies to help everybody understand why the transaction is in their best interests. So there are different ways for a, an institution to preserve its legacy in, in a merger or acquisition transaction. Some possibilities include naming a campus after the school that got acquired, naming a program or a set of programs like the liberal arts program after the school that got acquired. The college being acquired could create a legacy committee that has to approve certain transactions post affiliation that relate to the former operations of the acquired. If you work hard at it and keep your eyes uh, open for different options and uh, get a little bit of good luck, you can end up with the legacy preserved. And lastly, uh, just remember why you're doing this. Uh, when you hit the bumps, when you're fed up, when you wonder whether it's worth it, just remember that you're doing this for the institution you're doing it for the alumni, you're doing it for the community, and you're really especially doing it for the students. Colleges and universities uh, play such an important role for so many people and so many communities that when you can get through those challenges and come to a successful conclusion of a transaction, it's just a tremendously satisfying feeling.